Dali, tunalinua jina lako na kulitukuza jioni ya leo. Inua mikono yako mwambie Yesu, nitakuwa budu siku zote za maisha yangu. Maana unayotenda ni mengi na makumno.
tunawaleta watoto wetu mikononi mwako tunaleta kila jambo na kila mzigo mikononi mwako tukiamini ya kwamba unaenda kutenda makuu uinuliwe na hata uheshimiwe hakuna mwingine kama wewe Yesu we praise your holy name and we adore you Jesus Lord we lift your name Jesus we give you glory Father you are worthy Lord you are worthy tonight we declare and decree that you are worthy Lord we lift you above all other names Jehovah will lift you Jehovah Father tonight in your presence Jehovah Lord we surrender somebody you can surrender before the Lord again you can surrender tonight there's something that the Lord want to do in your life the Lord want to minister to you in this service you can tell God that tonight Lord I want you to minister to me in this service I'm not going to be the same way out of this service oh my God and my father you are going to hope Lord to deliver me in the name of Jesus King of Kings Father, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love, God. Thank you for your care. Thank you for the opportunity. In Jesus' name, we do pray and believe us. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can greet one or two people and tell them welcome to today's service. In this evening service, God is here. There's a spirit of God in, this, in today's service. Those who are behind, you can at least move so that we can be in one accord in the name of Jesus. The Lord is going to bless us. So we want to give God some praises. Wherever you are, you can just put your hands together for Jesus. You just put your hands together. You can clap for Jesus. You can clap for Jesus. You can clap for Jesus. You can clap better. 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 Oh yes. Pigie Yesu makofi na vigelegele wapi shangwe na vikofi na vigelegele kwa Yesu. Haya ya 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 ya. Sifani zako Mungu uishie. Sifani zako Bwana wa mabwana imbana me. Tunasema Mungu ishie Sifani zako Bwana wa mabwana eh sifani zako Mungu ishie Sifani zako Bwana wa mabwana tunasema Mungu ishie Sifani zako Bwana wa mabwana oh siku wa leo Bwana tunakupa sifa kwamba sifa zote ni za kubaba sifa ni zako mungu uishie sifa ni zako bwana wa mabwana haya pigie yesu makofi mazuri wapi makofi ya juu kwa yesu piga makofi piga makofi piga makofi ya juu shangwe na vigelegele kwa yesu
say yes to my coffee, my Zulu, wherever you are. You can give God a might and clap. Tell the Lord that this evening that he may receive all the praise and honor. Yes, you can Lord, lift your yes, hands, Lord, you can lift your hands and tell God that my Father, our God, Lord, Nina omba ya kwamba ukapoke sifa zangu bwana jehoni hii Mungu nimekuja nikakupe sifa baba ninashuka chini ukazipokee jehova maisha kawe bure Mungu baba mimi kukuja katika ibada Lord I pray that you may receive Jehovah Lord my praise you may receive my worship this evening you may receive my adoration my God in the name of Jesus Jehovah Father I am Jehovah Lord before you God Lord we are humbling before you are we humble before your presence. We humble before your power, our God. Lord, we acknowledge Jehovah Lord your authority. We acknowledge Jehovah Lord your cross upon our life. Oh my God and my Father, we lift you above all other names. That is your name is a great tower. Your name Jehovah Lord is a song tower. The weak run unto your name Jehovah Lord and they are lifted up. Oh Lord, we thank you. We lift you, Jehovah God.
thank you, Father, for this time you have given us to us to come in your presence to, to pour our hearts unto you, Lord. You are the Lord who cares. The Bible says, let's cast our burdens unto you because you cares. And Lord, as your servants, we have come in this house today to, to cast our burdens, to pour our hearts unto you, Lord. And we have poured our hearts unto you, Father. And Lord, we believe because you are faithful, God, who called us in this generation. We know that, Lord, you've heard our prayer and you have touched us in our hearts. And Father, we thank you because even you have prepared a word for us from your servant. Thank you, God, because we know you will speak to us in a special way. We honor you, Father, and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody hey. say amen. 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 Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Come on, somebody in the house. Give praise to him. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 How are you this evening? Fine. Fine. Amen. I'm happy to see all of you. You look wonderful. Can you tell your friend you, he, he or she looks wonderful? You look amazing. Amen. Amen. It is another Wednesday. I want to welcome everybody in this house, in this service. Those who are watching us online, you are most welcomed. We have enjoyed uh, praise and worship. And now we want to hear the word of God. So can you appreciate our praise team today? They have done a wonderful job. You are powerful people. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. We're going to be seated as a, I welcome the man of God um, in behalf of our Bishop Reverend Brown Chavaseki. I want to, to adhere to his direction that I welcome the man of God, Pastor Wekesa, all the way from Kayole. Can we put our hands together for Jesus and receive the man of God? Those hands are not enough. Can you stand up and appreciate the Lord? Stand up and appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah! Amen. Can you put your hands for Jesus? Hallelujah! Amen. Welcome, man of God. Amen. Amen. To Mishu Amungu Makofi. Tunaweza tukachipikia pia Makofi. Amen, amen. To pick up when I yes, so my coffee, my suri. Amen, amen, amen. Have your seat to a coquetti, Katika China, like Yesu Christo. Yes, I'm Pastor Alvin Wekesa, a redeemed Kosbe Church Omeka. I'm privileged to be here today to share this word with us. Amen. I want to share, not to a lecture. Praise God. It means uh, I, I'm going also to partake the same. Bwana sifiwe. With a few minutes, ninajua kwamba Bwana ataenda kukubariki katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Wale wanatutasama, those who are watching us, uh, welcome to the ministry of the word. Praise God. Bwana sifiwe. Second Kings, waja nianse pale na... I will use my time well. Na mungu ataenda kutubariki katika china la Yesu Christo. Amen. Second Kings. Chapter 7. If you are there, say amen. Second Kings chapter number 7. I want to read verse number 1, 2, and 3. The Bible says, uh, but Elijah said, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, tomorrow about this time, a seer of fine 
flour shall be sold for a shekel, and two seers of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. Verse number two. Then the captain on whose hand the king leaned said to the man of God, If the God himself should make windows in heaven, could this thing be? But he said, You shall see it with your own eyes, but you shall not eat of it. Verse number three. Now there were four men. Say four men. Say four men. There were four men who were lepers at the entrance to the gate. And they said to one another, Why are we sitting here until we die? If we say, Let us enter the city, the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. So now come, let us go over to the camp of the Assyrians. If they spare our lives, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. Verse number five in Afungwe Kisema, and they are rose. When I say feeling, Tunesa Kuina Mishwa Vichwa said to Chini to Wese Kuomba. Kwa sababu ya neno. Baba katika china la yesu ni na kushkudu. Sande buwana kwa kutupatia na fasi kuketi. Na pia tunakutasama. Buwana kwa nene nasi katika china la yesu. Hakuna mocha aliengia katika nyumba hii. Atake toka chinzi alipo ingia. Hakuna mocha atake kutana na hili neno ambali tamuacha. The Bible says you send your word. And they received and they were healed. Use this word to, to change our life. May the spirit of God quicken this word. Make it rema word to bring forth a hundredfold. Let this word heal. Kila mocha pone katika nyumba hii. Katika china la yesu. Tumeomba tukiamini na mtu wa seme me. Bwana sifiwe. Tunaweza kumpikia bwana yesu makofi tena. Kwa kunitia nguvu ni lase kuleta nino hili. Katika china la yesu. Tumekua hapa mchana, tumebarikiwa. And na sasa hivi nataka tu, tuwese kuangalia kile bwana ananena na masha yetu. Praise God. We want to hear from God. When God sends the word, he sends the word to heal those people who are listening. And those who, are, uh, who, those who receive the word. That is Psalms 107 verse 20. Uh, uchumbe wangu leo ni mesema taking the step of faith. Faith. Bwana sifiwe. Kuchukua dua ya imani. Praise God. To take the step of faith. When I see few. I'll go back and pick the verse number three. In uh, the, same, the same chapter. Verse number three. Now there were four men. Who were lepers at the entrance to the gate. We had people who were sub, wala watu walikuwa wakonjwa. Bwana sifiwe. Walikuwa na ukoma. Ukonjwa ya ukoma ilikuwa ni kwamba ni ukonjwa inaweza ambuki sana. Kwa hivyo walikuwa wanaondolewa, wanapelekwa mahali mbali ili wasiambukize wengine. This is this was a, 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 a transformative ingeweza kushika mtu mwingine. Bwana sifiwe. So they were isolated. Wanawekwa mbali ili wasiambukize watu wengine. These four men Wakiwa wameo kwa pale waliamua kuchukua atua ya imani. Bwana sifiwe. Leo na nena na mtu chukua atua ya imani. Take the step of faith. Whatever you want to do, you cannot do it unless you start doing it. Bwana sifiwe. You cannot succeed without putting your faith in action. Bwana sifiwe. Lazima wanse kufanya jambo. Maybe you are, you are complaining. Sina kazi. Start up doing something. Bwana sifiwe. Anza kufanya chambu flani. Ili mungu wa kubariki. Bwana sifiwe. We don't wait. But we start somewhere. 
This young man, this man, the Bible does not describe them, the age. But the men were, were sick. Walikuwa wanakonjika, uh, walikuwa wakonjwa ambaye, ukonjwa ambaye ilikuwa iwesi kapona. Now, these people wakatolewa ndani ya watu wakawekwa mbali. Hii ukonjwa ilene kwa inasababisha rejection. Yani isolation. Ni kama mtu ambaye au, uh, watu wamemkata. You are saying, Pastor, I turned up somebody who can stand with me. Watu hawa walikosa mtu ambaye anaweza kuwakaribia. Kwa sababu aliyao ya maisha ilikuwa ni harimbaya. Wana zifiwe. Kwa hivyo mtu wataki kuzika na wewe. Wakawe kwa inja ya Samaria. Now the Bible says in Samaria kulikuwa na njaa. Pare kulikuwa na njaa. Na hao watu wange, wangekula na mnagani kama hao watu wata kula. Kwenye wana, wale wanatakana kualetea chakula walikuwa na njaa. So, walikuwa katika hali ngumu sana. Wana sifiwe. Walikuwa wanateseka hawa jamaa. Lakini siku moja, they decided, tuwacha tuangalia one verse, this verse, verse number three. Now this man, at the entrance, patipina sema, and they said to one another, praise God. They shared. Hapa ndipo sasa inaitachika, uwe na mtu ambaya neza simama na wewe. When as if he went, these four men, we see unity in this place. People started to discuss about something. Kitu ambayo inawatesa wakakaa chini. Kama vile chamii munesakuwa napitia changamoto. Ukai chini muasa kunenea hiyo chambu. When as if he went, the problem ni kwamba chamii nyingi ama familia nyingi mara nyingi wanaasa kusosana. Praise God. Wakati ambapo mnaanza kusosana, paiva mwezi mkatoka kwa shida. Inaongea na mtu ambaye anasema uh, niko na shida, niko kuandika hali ambayo siwezi nikatoka. Wewe kaa chini na mwenzako mkaanza kunena. Bwana zifiwe. Wakati ambapo mnasosana, Mungu aweze akaingia. God cannot come in the place of strife. We must have unity in our families. Discuss about the problem we are passing through, the challenges. Then God will be involved. When as if he went, Tio Mandike Nasema, where people dwell in unity, God commands a blessing. When as if he went, these people discussed. Wakiwa ifo wakansa could discuss. Nina ungena mtu ambaya nasema, siwesi, wana yangu ndi ameleta shida. Awesu katoka kwa shida. Lakini wakata mbapo meka chini, meansa kuangalia yi shida. They started discussing about this problem. Wakasema apana, tuwezi kuendelea hivi. Wana zifiwe. Tutachukua tuwa ya imani. Mutu wa mungu, chukua tuwa ya imani. Wanze kusonga mbele. Katika china la Yesu. Same amen. The same verse. Inasema, inasema hivi. They say to uh, one another, Why are we sitting here until we die? Kwa nini tukete hapa paka kutufe hapa? Na ini swali inafai kucha kwa kila mtu. Will I stay in this situation forever? Why are we staying here until we die? La sima tuchukua tuwa, tuanza kutoka kwa shida. Praise God. Pokea neema ya kuanza kutoka kwa hiyo shida katika china la Yesu. Uanza kitu, uanza kufanya kitu. Praise God. Ni bizuri, it is good. Kuanza somewhere. When as if you went, you need to start somewhere. Even if you start small, start somewhere. Start selling something. Start doing something. You will, you will bring God in your situation. When you start doing something in your life. When as if you went, don't wait. Start the step of faith. Answer kufanyisha imani matendo. Weka imani, uh, imani yako kwa matendo. Na mungu atenda kukubariki katika china la Yesu. Same amen. Mandike nasema kwamba, wakasema atutaka hapa tukuve. We will not die here. We will wake up. Na wakasema hivi, tutaenda kwa kule kwa, we will go to the Assyrians, tents. Tutaenda mari ampapo, uh, wale walikuwa ni madui, na wanasema wataenda huko. Hii ni imani unachukua. Wena zifiwe, unamua kufanya jambo. Ni akambuni kanu nataka kuandikuwa kazi kwa there. When as if you went, don't despise yourself. 
go there to go and ask ni biashara kana unataka kuanza start somewhere bwana ziviwe don't wait praise god naongea na mtu ambaye anasema ninangochia sina mtu wa kwetu wa kunisaidia kulikuwa na mtu ambaye alikosa mtu wa kumsaidia e, yesu akakucha pale akauliza wewe unataka nini alikuwa katika birika ya bedside unajua yesu alimuuliza swali nzuri alimuuliza unataka nini wewe because jesus is aware angels have been coming down malaika walimekuwa kishuka kila siku walikuwa wanashuka pale wanatibua machi na mtu anapona lakini mbona huyo mtu amekaa hapa miaka 38 so yesu alikuwa na shangazi why aliuliza uweze uliza mkonjwa <laughs> you can go to hospital then you ask uulize mkonjwa amelala kwa, uh, kwa kitanda mwambie unataka nini so in other words jesus is saying kuna kitu chafanya lakini uko hospitali bwana zeviwe sasa aliuliza swali mzuri na kwa sababu huyu mkonjwa kujua alielewa swali The man understood the question very well. Alijua Yesu aulizie kuhusu kupona. Anaulizia kama kulikuwa na mtu angemsaidia. Akasema sina mtu wa kunisaidia. Kila wakati nikitaka kuanguka ndani, mtu amenipita. Sasa nikaa hapo miaka 38. In other words, he missed out his season 38 times. Bwana zeviwe. Season zilipita. You are season of next level inakucha ni nakupita because you have not taken the step of faith look at this man he stayed there his angel came stirred up the water the man did not push himself chisukume waanguke ndani hakujaribu so alikaa pale akingochea mtu ni nani atakucha nitupe pale ndani aniweke kwa hii mache wapendwa chikokoto waanguke ndani ya mache bwana ziviwe chiingise pale make sure you enter in this water kwa maana roho wa Bwana yuko hapa. Bwana zifiwe, chiingiza hapo ndani. Usingochee mtu. Sasa akasema sina mtu. I don't have somebody. Yesu akasema amuka na uende. Why? Because kama ulikuwa na ngochea mtu akuweke, sasa ume miss out. Hakuna acha ni kuweke pale kwa maji. Bwana zifiwe, it was not about kuingia kwa maji. Anamaanisha kwamba haikuwa kuingizwa na mtu kwa maji. Ilikuwa ni uponyaji tunatafuta hapa. Now it is about healing. It is not about entering into water. But the man is there waiting for somebody to put him in water. Bwana zifiwe, uchukue hatua ya imani. Bwana zifiwe, start somewhere. Kila mmoja ambao you admire, anybody you admire, he started somewhere. Usitake kuanzia mahali mtu amefika, anzia mahali katika china la Yesu. Anza kuchukua hatua step by step na Mungu atashuka katika china la Yesu. Tuangalie what happened. Ni verse number four, number four. The Bible says if we say let us enter uh, in the city we will die. You cannot go back. Bwana ziviwe. You cannot go back. Wewe rudi kwa dunia? No. Continue, continue go forward. Praise God. Continue going forward. Don't decide to go back usikubali kusarenda continue going forward look at this man they are saying we will not go back because even if we go back there's no hope wakasema kwamba tutaenda mbele twende mbele kwa hiyo kwa hiyo tent and they started going maandiki nasema wakaanza kutembea wakaanza kukanyaka wakaanza kuenda na nguvu za Mungu zikashuka kwa miku yao ikaanza kusababisha shetani aende bwana ziviwe wale watu wakaondoka wakawaachia chakula ninakucha tu nikwambie siku ya leo kwamba Mungu ana uwezo wa kubadilisha maisha yako Mungu ana uwezo wa kukupeleka kwa another level God has power to change your life He has the power to transform your life He has the power to heal your family but you need to cooperate to start doing something Bwana ziviwe imani bila matendo imekufa Bwana ziviwe We must practice what we we read in the Bible. We must practice so that God may come 
hands help us in the name of Jesus maandike nasema wakaenda na nguvu zile zikasukuma wale watu wakakimbia na wakaingia pale na sitasoma yale maneno mengine lakini nimesema kwamba they took the step of faith wakaanza kwenda wakaingia mahali na maadui wakakimbia ni ile ifanya wakimbie ni kwa sababu Mungu he honored the action of this man walikuwa hawana miguu walitembea namna gani Mungu aliwaesesha Mungu atakuesesha kufanya kila ungeweza kufanya study doing it Bwana zifiwe anza kufanya katika china la Yesu praise God anza kufanya jambo anza kufanya jambo hapo ndipo utaona wokovu ukiwa na nguvu because our god has power our god can change our life but sometimes we we uh, we uh, we live like like god has no power lakini god a mungu ako na nguvu ya kubadilisha maisha yetu bwana zifiwe but is also waiting for us in luke chapter number let us uh, read luke the book of luke chapter number 19 ah uh, the person who took the step of faith Luke chapter number 19 verse 1 uh, kama uko pale sema amen Luke chapter number 19 verse 1 we are reading verse number 1 the bible says he entered Jericho this is Jesus and I was passing through and behold there was a man named Zacchaeus he was a, tag, a chief tax collector and I was rich the man was rich bwana zifiwe and i says the bible says and he was seeking the word seeking means praying ama kutafuta ama kuomba bwana zifiwe this man the word seek means kuomba the way you pray you come and pray you are a prayerful person we know hiyo tunajua wewe unaomba unakuja kesha Unaamka usiku naomba but God is also waiting for something let us see Biblia nasema kwamba he was seeking to see who Jesus was but on account of the crowd he could not because he was small in stature Sakayo this man was short ah and he admired he wanted to see Jesus alikuwa amemsikia na huyo mtu alikuwa tajiri na akasema nataka ni muone huyu Yesu the bible says in the next verse kwamba akakimbia mbele he, he ran on ahead bwana zifiwe uende mbele bwana zifiwe uwe mbele kila siku usiwe nyuma uwe mbele mbele uinuke katika china la Yesu akakimbia mbele kwa ile njia cheriko na uh, Yesu akiwa anatembea akakimbia mbele Maandike nasemaje uh, akapanda mti he climbed up into a sycamore tree uh, to see him for he was about to pass that way so Jesus was passing and uh, Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus he was short kulingana na umo um, uh, alikuwa mtu mfupi si kama mimi bwana zifiwe so he wanted to see Jesus I, akakimbia mbele akachua Yesu atapitia hapa Bwana zifiwe Yesu upita ndani ya watu ule kila uh, yule mkonjo alingochia bilika bedside for 38 years maandiko nasema the most, uh, walikuwa watu wengi pale Jesus passed in Yesu alipita katikati yao aka aka spot one person now hapa pia saka nasema Yesu atanimpita na akakimbia akapanda mti kile kitendo cha kukimbia mbele ni kuweka uh, imani yako katika matendo. Bwana zifiwe. Hiyo kitendo cha pili cha kupanda mti kilimsimamisha Yesu. Bwana zifiwe. Kupanda mti climbing the tree that made Jesus to stand. Your faith in action will make Jesus to stop and I hear you. Bwana zifiwe kila ambao unapitia wakati ambapo umeamua kuchukua hatua hapo ndipo basi Mungu atashuka hapo katika china la Yesu na hapo utaona ata a, 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 anamwambia shuka harakisha kushuka praise god sakaya was very short na kuna vile 
kuna ufupi wa maisha Bwana zeviwe labda wewe kuna kitu ambaye haufikii unakuta familia ni nzuri pesa hakuna ama something kuna kitu uh, labda uko na pesa ndoa hakuna ilikuwa hivyo kwa zakayo huyu mtu ako na pesa ana job lakini yeye ni mfupi aweze akamuona Mungu so he needed Jesus in that area kila mtu ako na mahali ambapo anahitaji Mungu bwana zeviwe labda wewe una pesa lakini hauna afya labda una pesa ama ama uko na ndoa nzuri lakini hakuna mtoto bwana zeviwe una watoto wazuri na wameharibika wasomi uko nao you are in the city lakini hakuna kitu unaendelea nayo hakuna kitu nakubariki bwana zeviwe kuna kitu unakosa lakini vitu vingine uko nazo to live a balance is to look for jesus bwana zeviwe nao sakayo Mandike nasema akakimbia na kapanda kile kitendo cha kupanda ni kile kitendo mama unaamua kuchukua loan na unaanzisha biashara Praise God Unaokopa nasema nikichukua loan ni kama watachukua vitu Hapana start something by faith Praise God Anza kufanya kitu katika maisha yako ili Mungu ashuke akusaidie Praise God Mandike nasema akapanda mti na akakwenda kule na Yesu akasimama aliposimama akasema shuka sikia vile anasema using the uh, important word here anasema sakayo hurry and I come down for i must stay at i must the word i must yani Mungu hiyo kitendo kimehakikisha Mungu lazima akubariki bwana zebewe kile kitu unafanya kinafanya Mungu lazima He say I must stay in your house today. Wacha nikwambie kuna watu ambao wanaacha Mungu kanisani na wanaenda nyumbani peke yao. We have somebody like that. Kuna watu kama hao kwa Biblia. Maandiko nasema baba na mama wa Yesu walienda kanisani wakatoka bila kujua kemwemwacha Yesu nyuma. Na walienda paka nyumbani. Kufika nyumbani wakaangalia nyuma hawakumuona mtoto wakasema ameenda wapi they left jesus biblia nasema they left the baby jesus behind the church that's why unatoka hapo umeokoka kwa nyumba ni vita kuna watu wengi ambao kanisani umeokoka nyumbani lazima wafurukurane wiki moja iwezi isha kama watu hawajakosana mahali sasa roho bwana awezi kukaa pale bwana asifiwe ni vizuri kuhakikisha the peace in your family. Chukua hatua ya kuhakikisha nyumba hii kutakuwa na amani. Bwana asifiwe. Wewe unaamua, unasema hapa tutaishi na amani. Na unaanza kuangalia shetani uingilia wapi ili umzuia akae nje. Sasa kuna hapana. Sometimes I ask a question. Ama wana chip mbaya. Labda naulizwa swali na ninaichipu opposite. Bwana asifiwe. Sometimes I answer opposite. Na ama 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 kuna hii na hii ndio huwa nafanya nisababisha shida inakuwa bwana zifiwe maandike nasema sakayo akashuka wacha Mungu ashuke kwa nyumba yako leo bwana zifiwe Yesu akishuka si kama mwanadamu he will change your life if he can come in your life if Jesus can come na aseme leo nitakaa kwako your life will change bwana zifiwe aseme leo nimeshuka Huyu mtu alibadilishwa na Mungu. Mungu akishuka kwa nyumba yako hata msa wako anabadilika. Nasema analewa sana atabadilika. Bwana angalia vile huyu mtu alibadilika. Maandike nasema hivi. Uh, nimeruka verse number 7 and when they saw it they all grumbled he has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. Verse number 8. Sakaya stood and said to the Lord, Behold Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. The man is changed. This man used to rob people. Yesu amebadilisha mtu ameanza kutoa bidu zake akirudisha. Praise God. So it means no man can hakuna uh, mtu hawezi kuchange. Bwana ziviwe. Hakuna mtu usiniambie mse wangu ameharibika siwezi kubadilisha yeye. God can change your husband. God can change your situation I know because hapa Biblia inasema kwamba mtu aliyekuwa mwizi alibadilishwa na Yesu so long as Jesus stays in your house 
your family will change. Bwana zivwe. Maisha yako itabadilika. Why? Because Jesus is in the house. Bwana zivwe. Bora Yesu awe ndani ya nyumba. Embrace Jesus in your house. Bring him in. Na anakucha ndani wakati ambapo ume by faith umeanza ku act vitu vya kufanya Mungu akuje ndani yako. Anapenda watu ambao wana wanafanyisha kile Yesu amesema matendo. Bwana zifiwe. Joshua was told, meditate upon this word so that so that you may be able to do it. Yaani ukisoma una meditate na no unawekesha kwa kazi so that you may enjoy uh, success. Bwana zifiwe. Unasoma neno na no unafanyisha kazi. Unasoma kama vile tu unaweza kuwa unahubiriwa kila siku. You hear the word God speaks to you and you don't take action that word is vain hiyo neno alikusaidi but when God speaks you act the bible says God told Abraham to leave then he arose bas Mungu akaanza kufanyia kazi kwa maana aliamka na kaanza kuenda mahali Mungu amesema you don't wait you continue even if it doesn't, it doesn't make sense it will make sense later and there bwana asifiwe it will make sense later Sarai anamuuliza tunaenda wapi ah Mungu amesema twende So ameanza kufanyisha kazi ile Mungu amesema the word has been released in the life of uh, Abraham now Abraham has taken the uh, faith he has uh, decided to start moving towards his destiny ameanza kwenda mahali ambapo Mungu amesema hatima yake iko na kaanza kwenda alitembea safari levu lakini Mungu alikuwa na yeye Mungu anataka kusikia mtu ambaye akimwambia anasikia Bwana zivwe Mungu akini Mungu aliniongelesha he spoke to me nilikuwa nimeama nimetoka Nairobi nimeenda Kitale nimenunua mali nimeuza gari yangu nimenunua plot iko na nyumba nikaanza kukaa then God spoke to me go back to Nairobi start the church Bwana zivwe Sasa siwezi kuulizana na maswali Mungu ameniambia rejea in the city of Nairobi build the church for me Go preach the gospel I came back Bwana zivwe Nikarejea Why because I've heard what God has said I've decided to start walking towards my destiny God has spoken to me therefore you will do it Yeye si mwanadamu. The Bible says is not a man that he can lie to us. So long as he has told you kama amekuambia atatenda. Bwana zifiwe. So tuanze kufanyisha kazi yale mambo ambaye Mungu ametunenea. Tuanze kufanya jambo katika china la Yesu. You start somewhere. Tukaenda mahali tukaanza kanisa. I was preaching to my wife and my children because God said go and preach the gospel. I don't wait for people. Ah, uh, si Mungu angochii watu. Watu ndio wanafaa kumngojea Mungu. Bwana zivwe. Bila sema you wait upon God. Those who wait upon God are like Mount Zion. Uh, trust in God, you be like Mount Zion. You cannot be moved. Inamaanisha kwamba wakati ambapo Mungu amekuongelesha, enda hiyo direction. Bwana zivwe. Na Mungu atakubariki. So ninaongea na mtu ambaye anangojea anasema sina kazi, nunua kitu aanze kuuza. Praise God. Don't say I don't have business, I don't have money. Start somewhere. Katika China la Yesu na Mungu anangochea uanze ndio aanze. Praise God. He's waiting for you to start so that they may start. Bwana asifiwe. He's waiting for you to start. Ili ili uh, yeye pia aanze kufanya kazi, anakungojea. Kumbe Mungu alikuwa ananingojea. When I came to the city of Nairobi, ah, si kwa na so nikakuja nikakuja nikafanya nini nika nika anza kanisa nikakaka nikapata mahali nikajenga nika familia iko hapo tukaendelea na vile lipatikana ni kwa sababu nilianza bwana zifiwe siku ya leo nimekuja tu nikwambie kwamba kama utaamka na uanze kufanyisha kazi kile Mungu amekuambia na kila mtu Mungu umwongelesha ni vile tu tumekataa kuanza kufanya kile Mungu ametuambia. Bwana zifiwe. 
ama ni vile tu tumekataa kuanza kufanyisha hiyo gas lakini ukianza si juu ule mti alipanda acha mtu mfupi lakini alipanda na alisimamisha Yesu bwana asifiwe alisimamisha Yesu pale your action will provoke the kingdom of god you provoke uh, uh, the power of god to come down bwana asifiwe hicho ni leo tunapoenda kuomba nataka umwambie Mungu tell god nataka nianse mahali maandike nasema katika book of zakaria don't despise a small beginning bwana asifiwe start somewhere start somewhere bwana asifiwe and continue Mungu ataanza kukufanya kazi na wewe wakati ambapo utaanza mahali praise god when you start somewhere god will do things that you have you unge, unge amini kwamba inaweza kafanyika katika china la Yesu praise god so i want us to pray when as if you in this direction to all make the grace to start somewhere we want to start somewhere when as if you the grace to put the word in action we want to pray we want to dear god empower our steps tuombe mungu amalize uoka kwa maana uoka ndio usuia mtu kuanza mahali fear is an opposite of faith praise god tuweze kusimama we want to pray Let us take some time and pray. Oh, shakata la babusha. Tunapongozwa kwa wimbo wa kuabudu. We want to pray. If you have been fearing, now you start doing something. Utaanza kufanya jambo katika china la Yesu. We worship you. We glorify your name. Inwa tu. Akuna rika shakatu. Akuna we shakatala babusha. Kama we want to pray. Akuna we shakatala babusha. Kama. Oh, wait. 
in the name of Jesus those who are sick receive the healing wherever you are in the name of Jesus that sickness must go that disease must die in the coverage of this voice whether it's in YouTube whether it's in the Facebook we release healing upon everybody who is watching us we release peace in the in that family we release peace in that family unity of God let it come now in the name of Jesus we thank you father God of all universe the creator of the heart the creator of mankind Jesus we thank you and we bless you we thank you because of that powerful message which has come to our lives tonight thank you Lord for sending your servant and send your word to heal us we are healed oh we are healed can you celebrate the Lord with your hands and with a with a shout in your mouth because we have received what belongs to us this night we have received what belongs to our life those hands are too little are too are, are too low can we put our hands for, for Jesus and appreciate him in the name of Jesus we receive it by faith if you receive by faith put your hands together on top of your head and appreciate the Lord hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen. amen we must take a step of faith and tonight we have taken a step of faith how many have taken a step of faith like this poor man amen. hallelujah amen. your life will never be the same again amen, amen and amen Thank you very much, servant of God, Pastor Wekesa. The word is timely. We have received it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We can be seated for some few minutes. Amen. We want to do two things as we wait our service today, Wednesday. We will hear the announcements. That is the notices of today. And uh, after that, we will hear be given the offerings and tithes. So as we hear the notices, please prepare your offerings and tithe. As our bishop has been saying that we check on our balances in our accounts. So as you are going to give, please can you check your balance in your account is how much? And then you will give faithfully in Jesus' name. So at this time, please meet the people can you give us the notices of today in Jesus' name? Welcome to RGC Pipeline. In this place, we help people to know God, grow in faith, discover their purpose and make a difference. Since everybody is somebody and God is supreme. June is our men's month, a time to appreciate all the men in our church. Start second service from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Our third service from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Our youth's and teen service starts from 9 to 11 a.m. at Hall A and Teens Hall respectively. Miracle Hour meetings, Monday to Friday, from 12.45 to 2 p.m. Did you know that we have a Young Adults Fellowship? Usually meeting every Sunday from 7 to 9 a.m. at Hall A. If you are 25 years and above and not yet married, you are all welcomed. Our discipleship class starts from 9 to 10.30 a.m. every Sunday. All those who received salvation recently and are not baptized, are advised to join this class. Congratulations to the discipleship class of year 2022 who will be graduating next Sunday, the 3rd of July. We wish them all the best. June has been our men's month and to wrap it up, the men's ministry will be having a men's rally this afternoon from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. All men plan to attend. Do you need prayer and counseling? From our family care department, you can get help today by visiting the Amani room after the service or call 
or 0769-283-628. This coming Friday, our Kesha will be led by the music department. Please come and pray. Our Deacon of the Week is Henry Misao. Now you are in the know. We wish you a blessed week. The service continues. Amen. Can you, can you appreciate the, the media people? Thank you very much, media, for that uh, announcement. Amen. Are we blessed? Yes. Amen. We want to prepare and give uh, our offerings. So if you are you have tithes. Uh, you can be. You can come in front if you have tithe. You are bringing tithe today. If it's offerings, prepare them. You are going to give. In Jesus' name. So uh, also, if you have a need and you need prayers as we disperse, please come in front. Man of God will pray for you in Jesus' name. So happy no heart.